Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you Killjoy setups that professional players used in their tournament matches. Hopefully these will go on to help you out in some of your ranked games and start ranking up a little bit. We're going to cover every map and every site on each map in this video, and I'm going to have the timestamps on the timeline below. However, I highly suggest that you watch the whole thing because these are setups that you're going to want to have in your back pocket. So hopefully you're not just loading this up before a match and you're going to want to remember these in the back of your head for the future matches that you play on all of these maps. We're going to start things off on Valorant's newest map, Fracture, and take a look at setups that Sentinel's Dapper used during VCT. To start things off on B site, Dapper throws his turret on top of the generator here. And this is a really good turret because not only does it see everything that happens in Arcade, but it also slows down the people who are walking out of B main. Next up, Dapper puts his alarm bot and one of his swarm grenades right in front of the stairs here at the entrance of B main. This is really good because when his alarm bot goes off, he can trigger the molly and it will stop the enemy team from pushing into sight. For the final swarm grenade, Dapper does a very nifty swarm grenade here in tower. So he makes his way to this corner right here and then aims right where the light green becomes dark green. So right here in the middle, takes his swarm grenade out and does a simple right click throw. And as you guys can see, it sits on this shelf here. And this is really good because if you hear someone coming up this rope, this molly will really just slow them down and prevent them from pushing any further, at least for a few seconds. For Dapper's A site setup, it's actually really simple. He throws his turret right on top of this box here. And this covers everything that goes on over toward Dish. And then he uses the rest of his utility toward A main. So he throws an alarm bot behind this box here, one Molotov right at the entrance of site, and then a second one on the site itself. Now, the reason he uses most of his utility toward a main is because drop is a very hard part of the map to actually enter site from because of this ledge here. So throwing most of your utility toward a main is going to be a lot more helpful than using any of it here on this ledge. As we take a look at Breeze, we're going to look at two setups from Sentinel's Dapper that he used in their matches against Liquid during VCT. To start things off on a site, Dapper puts his turret on these stairs and he does it in a very strange position that creates a head glitch. For the people that are coming out of a main this will obviously slow them down and be very difficult to shoot once you're coming out of a main as we move over to the front of site dapper will throw one molly on the front site plant one molly on the side plant and then an alarm bot right in between them and then as soon as the enemy team taps the bomb dapper will set off these mollies to delay the plant as we move over to b site dapper starts by throwing his turret facing himself in this corner here and this will slow anything that comes outside of b main I know a lot of people throw their turret on top of the half wall, but that doesn't really slow down the actual execution from the attacking team since people can just shoot it from B main. What I found interesting about Dapper's setup during VCT was that he actually used both of his mollies toward the bomb site here and an alarm bot right in the middle, similar to what he did on A site. And this was used again to just slow down the plant and allow time for his team to rotate. As we move over toward Ascent, we're going to take a look at one of Keyless setups from Team Ascend, the VCT Masters World Champions. To start things off, Keyless throws his turret on top of this barrel here. This is a really nice spot because it's actually difficult to hit from B main because of its position with this wall here. But it also will slow people down when they come out of market in the event of a B split. Now, regarding his nano swarms, Keyless has a really nice setup here. So for the first one, he throws it in this little nook here by the candy cane. It kind of just floats there on the wall and it's pretty much impossible to break. And then for the second one, he throws it right at the entrance of B main. Now for his alarm bot, he does one of two things. The first thing he'll do is he'll put it right in between the two Molotovs. So that way, when the alarm bot goes off, he can just pop both of them and they'll kind of be stuck there right in the middle. Or the second thing that he does, and this is more for team information, is he'll take his alarm bot and he'll throw it over here towards mid and pizza. So he'll just literally throw it right here on the ground. And this is just so the team knows if the attackers are pushing up mid and trying to take control of market. As we move over toward a site on ascent, we're going to look at one of Nevera's setups from Team Liquid. So for both of the swarm grenades, he actually uses both of them toward the switch of the door. So the first one he throws right about here and then the second one closer to the bomb right here and then he throws his alarm bot almost right in front of the switch that way when the alarm bot goes off you can pop a swarm grenade here and another one here and the player who closes the door basically has nowhere to go regarding the turret nevera sets it up differently depending on his team's setup each round so if somebody's watching cat for him then what he'll do is he'll throw a turret right up here that really just slows down everything regarding the entrance of the site However, if there's nobody that's set up in tree room or up cat during the round, he'll actually throw a turret 
right about here that watches the cross from tree room and just alerts Nevera of when the other team takes map control. All right, guys, as we move over to split, I'm going to show you two setups from Chronicle on Gambit. You guys didn't know Gambit won champions in Berlin the first time around, and they were the runner up in Masters Berlin. To start things off, Chronicle throws his alarm bot right here in heaven. Now, this is really useful if the attacking team takes control of ramp and pushes into heaven, or if they push through mid and come up the rope. For the turret, Chronicle just throws it on top of this box here. That way, this stops anybody who pushes and slows them down from a main. And last but not least, for his swarm grenades, Chronicle throws one right here at the bottom of ramp and a second one right here in hell. This is really good because when his turret goes off, that's when he knows to pop these molly grenades. As we move over to B site, Chronicle starts things off by throwing his turret on top of this box here. Now, this is really good, obviously, because it slows people down coming out of B main, but also it will slow people down in the event of a B split when the other team is pushing through heaven. Next up, Chronicle will throw down his alarm bot on top of this sewage drain right here. He'll throw one molly right behind it and then another molly toward this other sewage drain. That way, when his alarm bot goes off, he pops both of these mollies and it prevents them from really getting onto site anywhere. And if they do happen to get past these mollies, then it will force them for the plant area. In terms of Killjoy setups on Icebox, Fnatic was the team that really popularized using Killjoy on this map. In the past, teams had exclusively rocked Sage as their only Sentinel, but Fnatic made it popular to rock both Sage and Killjoy and only rock one Duelist in Jet. Fnatic exclusively used Killjoy for mid and B presence and actually didn't use any A Killjoy setups throughout the entire tournament. So I'm only going to show you what they did on mid and B. To start things off, Magnum would put his turret right here on the top of B site. Now this one's a little bit finicky, but if you place it right here, this turret has people that cross over to yellow, but also people that walk under tube in mid. And that's really, really useful information. Regarding the nano swarm grenades, Magnum will throw one behind the box here and a second one on site. That way, when a team decides to plant on B site, you can pop both of these and they will have to delay their plant for quite a while. Lastly, Magnum will make his way over toward Tube. And when the round starts, this barrier will go down and he'll throw an alarm bot right here in Tube just in case the enemy team tries to take mid control. As far as Haven is concerned, Killjoy was the most popular Sentinel used on this map. But what surprised me about watching the footage was that they split up the utility oftentimes between B and C. Teams in VCT almost never used all of their utility on one site. With that being said though, I was able to find one setup from Envy Finesse that was entirely used on the A site. So let's go through that right now. Finesse's A setup would start by putting his turret on top of this box here in A short. That way it slows down anyone that peaks this first angle here. Second, he would throw his molly grenade right here at the entrance toward this cubby area. And again, that prevents anybody who's pushing through short and delays them getting out to sight. For his second molly grenade, he'd throw it right here, the entrance from long. And regarding his alarm bot, he'd throw it right in front of this molly grenade just to alert him when to actually pop it. As we move over toward B and C site, as I mentioned earlier, almost all of the teams that use Killjoy split their utility between the two sites. So I'm going to show you a setup that Fnatic Magnum used to cover both of those areas. To start things off, Magnum would throw his turret on top of this box here. That way, anybody that comes into B site is slowed down by it. And he would throw one of his molly grenades right here toward this plant area. For the rest of this setup, Magnum would actually make his way over toward garage and throw his alarm bot right in the center of it here. That way, they know if the attacking team is showing any presence toward this part of the map. For his last alarm bot, he would throw it right here at the entrance of Garage to C. And I'm sure that this could change depending on the tendencies of his opponent. For example, if their opponents are known to take a lot of Garage control and split C, then he could do this setup. Otherwise, he might throw this toward C long. Now, you guys are probably asking, ZK, where are the setups for Bind? And to my surprise, and probably yours too, Killjoy was only played on Bind by one team in the entirety of VCT Masters, and that was in the qualifiers by Team Secret, and they ended up losing that match 13 to 6. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that Killjoy isn't really in the meta for Bind, so why would I show you a setup on a map where Killjoy isn't necessarily that useful? That's it from me though, guys. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and of course, check out one of these videos on your screen because I release tons of tips and tricks videos to help you guys start ranking up.